There is no GCF from these two terms. So next we're thinking about some options when it comes to factoring binomials that have two terms. Do we have two squares? We actually do have a difference of squares. We have a pattern to factor a difference of squares. Our 9x squared is made up of a 3x, this quantity squared, and our second term, the 4, is made up from a 2 squared. And if we can set up these squares, we know it, it, the, it is written in factored form as 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. What we have in those boxes, those go in each set of parentheses. One gets the plus, one gets the minus. Okay, two down, two to go. Here's the expression that was in the denominator of our first fraction. Hopefully you can see that there is a GCF here. A 10 can be divided out of each of these three terms, each and every term. We can divide out a 10. There it is out front. Left over after dividing out the 10 is x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we're not going to stop there, always taking a look at what we have in parentheses to determine if it's something we can factor more. And we can. There are three terms, but no leading coefficient this time. So it's a little bit of a quicker way. We have this shortcut where we just need to find a pair of numbers multiplied together will equal positive 2, added together will equal negative 3. And the choice that we're going for is negative 2 and negative 1. That's the pair that works for the multiply and works for the add. Don't forget about our GCF. There's still a 10 out front. Now that expression is factored. Our last, 6x squared minus 24. Another one that has a GCF. A 6 can be divided out from each of those terms. And again, an example where what's left in parentheses can be factored further. Another difference of squares. There's our GCF, the 6 x squared minus 4, we factor as x plus 2 times x minus 2. Hopefully the, that wasn't so bad for you. We, we're, we're pretty smooth with the factoring. Let's go back to our problem. We have our new division bar set up. So each of our factored results are going into this fraction. 3x squared minus x minus 2, we found to be 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. Our denominator had that 10 for the GCF, and then x minus 1 times x minus 2. Remember, this is a divide, and we haven't flipped this fraction yet. So I'll, I'll do it at this time. Basically, if I look at this 9x squared minus 4, if we were to flip it, that would be in the denominator. So that's where I will be writing those factors. The 3x plus 2 and the 3x minus 2 are definitely factors from the numerator, but since it's a divide, I'm saying flip flip that second fraction, put the numerator into the denominator, and we will take our factors from the denominator and put them in the numerator. There's the GCF 6 and the factors x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now we get to do the canceling. So what do we have to cancel? 3x plus 2 gone, the x minus 1's gone, x minus 2's gone. Something just feels great when all these different things cancel. What else can we cancel? There's these coefficients, the 6 with the 10. We can do some canceling there. And you could still choose to break those up into factors. The 6 is 2 times 3. The 10 is 2 times 5. So we can see the 2s get canceled there. And you might have thought in your mind, well, a 6 over 10 fraction I know simplifies to be a 3 over 5. And if that's working for you, then totally do it. Uh, but we have options here to go for prime factors. That's all there is in terms of canceling. It's time to compose our answer here. Uh, so left over from the numerator, we have a 3, and this binomial factor x plus 2. In the denominator, we have the 5 times 3x minus 2. And there's our answer. I say just leave it in factored form. Put a box around it, make it look nice if you choose to. But there it is. Here's a problem for you to try. Multiply these two rational expressions. Now we know that this problem, even though we see the multiply and the in instructions are to multiply, just remember our steps, factor then cancel. So go for it, pause the video and then come back, we will go through the answer. So we know the steps factor then cancel. I will set up a new fraction here. 
x squared minus 9, there's our difference of squares, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Next, let's go for the other numerator, 4x squared plus 4x. Interesting looking one, but just remember, we always have the approach of try GCF first. The GCF is 4x, and make sure we're actually finding the greatest common factor. So just bringing out a 2 is not, not really good enough. Just bringing out an x is not good enough, or just a 4. It's got to be 4x out front with x plus 1 in parentheses. And if you found yourself not bringing out 4x, take a look at what you had in parentheses, and you'd see still a GCF. So if you want to be sure that you found a GCF, take a look at what you're writing in parentheses. You should not see any GCF left over in parentheses. Okay. Bottom left, our denominator. Had to throw one of these at you. Three terms with a leading coefficient, factored as 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. Finally, binomials. And before you think about anything else, you think GCF. A 2x squared is our GCF with 3 minus x left over in parentheses. Those are our four factored expressions. Now we get to see what, what there is to cancel x plus 1's are cancelled. What else can we do? Well, we're looking at these coefficients, the, the 4 over the 2. We'll probably want to think about the x's also. 4 over 2 will be able to cancel and have a 2 left over up on top in the numerator. What about 1x in the numerator with x squared in the denominator? Think about what that x squared is. x times x. Now I can still write that if it keeps me on track and actually see there are the x's being canceled, there is the one x left over in the denominator. And we have some shortcuts to see that there's going to be, for x over x squared, that would leave us with one x in the denominator. Bottom line is, of course, you just go with what works for you. What else can we factor? Now, if you were looking at the Simplify videos, you would have spotted these. The x minus 3 and 3 minus x are not equal, but they are opposites. They can be canceled, and it will make our answer negative. So I've gone ahead and cancel. Where I have my answer, I have a negative sign out front waiting from canceling those two opposites. There is nothing else we can cancel. So the numerator, 2 times x plus 3. Denominator, x times 2x plus 1. A quick reminder, now that is our answer, a quick reminder that this 2 could definitely not be canceled with that 2, and that x for sure not with that x. If I was thinking about canceling this x, I would have to cancel x plus 3, the entire thing. I'd need to see another x plus 3 to, to do any sort of canceling with that x, all or nothing. Same with this 2x plus 1. If I can't smash the whole thing, then I cannot do any canceling. So we're not trying to do anything with those 2s or x's or anything else. It must end right there.